This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So there's no real point to introduce this camera. Everyone's already heard about the X106. And while I don't have one, let's talk about my experience using it as a Fujifilm camera user, my first time ever using any of the X100 series. So I was lucky enough to get my hands on the X106 a couple of times just for very short periods. Once while I was in Japan for the Fujifilm X Summit and also while I was at WPPI hanging out with Fujifilm. Now, this was my first time ever using the X100 series. I'm very used to the X-T series, which was my introduction to Fujifilm. Now, the biggest difference in these styles of camera for me is the difference between an SLR style and a rangefinder, which I've never used any rangefinder type cameras. Now, the things I liked about the camera, first off, the form factor is great. Now, I wasn't super impressed by the form factor, mainly because I used to love cameras like the X-T30, and I'll put my video about that right up above. I used to love doing street photography with the X-T30. I kind of wish I still had the camera, but I needed to regulate how many cameras I owned and downgrade, upgrade to an XS20. It's not a downgrade. I just like, I'm so sad I had to get rid of my X-T30, but the XS20 makes more sense. But the form factor of the X-106 is great. Because it's so thin, like you could put it in any kind of pocket or like bag and easily just have it in there and not take up a lot of space. However, and I talked about this on another video, if you want to go ahead and just use something like the X-T30 with a pancake lens, you're getting basically the same form factor. One of the biggest things that blew my mind was the built-in ND filter. I had never used a camera that had something like this in it. So it's really cool, especially as a content creator, being able to flip a switch and have like four stops of ND built into the camera rather than having to get your ND filter and like screw it on. And it's just super annoying, especially if you're doing photo and video. Screwing on and off an ND filter is the absolute worst. And I know they make some that are like magnet based, but I just, I hate doing it. So having it built in is awesome. Also now, since the X106 has that great 40 megapixel sensor, you're getting that same beautiful look out of the X-T5. I've been using the X-T5 for weddings now, so I already know how that sensor looks. It looks great. And being able to shoot that in such a small compact camera is amazing. I think that's probably the biggest thing about the X-106 that's most impressive to me is just that they put so much in this tiny little package and they were able to fit in IBIS and have the same great film sims and even some more and just the ND filter and have it be so small and light. It's actually a really cool camera. The X-106 is super fun to shoot and honestly, I feel like it fits best in street photography, lifestyle photography and anything candid. Something about its size and rangefinder view just makes you want to pick it up and take whatever photos come to mind right in front of you. This pick up and go feel of the X106 I feel like is its best quality. Like you're going to be kind of looking down at me. So anything that's going to be making yourself big in the front there would be perfect because that's going to be the shot kind of like here up. Okay, so I, I love your arm in like that. Turn your head over to your left, but then try and look at me just a bit. Yes, so good. Shooting in JPEG is honestly the best way to use the X106 because of Fujifilm's film simulations. If you haven't had a chance to use any of them, you're missing out and you need to pick up honestly any Fujifilm camera and check out the film sims. Now for this shoot, I probably should have used something other than classic chrome since there was so much yellow and vibrancy, but honestly, I love classic chrome. It's the main one I use for all of my photos. While in Japan, I had a short 10 minutes to use it for some street photography. And honestly, I didn't get the best shots that I would have liked, but just being able to use the camera and get used to it was absolutely amazing for me. Again, this was my first time using the X100V and I feel like I really got a feel for it as far as street photography. The focal length that comes with the camera I feel like is perfect for street photography. It gives you enough range to be close to things, far enough away, and also the camera is so small that it's pretty inconspicuous. No one's gonna run up on you and wonder why you're taking photos, and that's the best part about the camera. Also, its film look makes people just not really think about what you're doing with it, and I think I love that fact about it the most. Now, if you're doing a lot of street photography, 
with your X106 and want to show off your photos online and build yourself a brand, the best place you're going to be able to do that is with this video's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the easiest online platform to build your own website. It's what I host my website on and I recommend to absolutely everybody. Sign up for Squarespace, choose yourself a template, plug in your content and you have a beautiful website, quick and easy. You don't need any web design experience. Honestly, it's really plug and play. And with their new 7.1 platform, it's very easy to make customizations to your website. Also, as your business grows, your website can grow alongside you, giving you features like commerce to sell physical and digital products, courses to sell videos and show off videos online, great analytics so that you can track how everything's going on your website, and amazing customer service to help you get it all done. Make sure to check out the link in the description below for 10% off of your first website or domain, and make sure you have a space on the web to show off your work and not just on Instagram. Now, one of the biggest questions is gonna be, would I buy one for my current kit? If you know what I have right now, I have too many cameras. I have the X-H2S, which I'm recording on right now. I have two X-T5s and GFX 102 and an XS20. That's a lot of cameras, and honestly, some of them sit around collecting dust. I probably should pare down some and use like the X-T5s for video more, not just for stills. But I'm not really sure if I would upgrade to the X106 just because I have so many cameras already. The XS20 kind of fills that space as my small content creation carry around camera, but it's 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 hard to say. Since the XS20 is filling the space where the X106 would be, I don't think I'm gonna upgrade to it. It really doesn't make sense for me, especially when I already have five cameras and like three or four of them are sitting around collecting dust. Right now I'm shooting my weddings on the X-T5s, sometimes the GFX, but honestly, I'm not using the GFX that much and I'm not using the X-T5s for video. So if I'm not shooting a wedding, they're literally sitting there doing nothing. Right now my XS20 gets the most work because I take it with me when I travel. It's great for photos. I take it with me when I hang out with my family. I use it when I live stream. It's doing everything. So even the X-H2S here is pretty much collecting dust. I'm only using it when I'm doing these head-on shots or if I'm doing like a multicam shot. So. It's hard to justify the X106, especially me and my wife are kind of paring down everything we have at the moment. And for me to be like, hey, I need this other camera because it's awesome and it's popular and everyone loves it. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense at all. So I think I'm gonna stick with my XS20, but let me know in the comments what y'all think. Are you gonna be picking up the X106 if you can get your hands on one? I know they're kind of going like hotcakes, the most popular selling camera right now out of any brand. And honestly, if you're new to Fujifilm and you wanna learn more about it, more about the film sims, or even just comparing the cameras, definitely check out this playlist here and I'll catch y'all next time.